Hello guys, so this is the second part of our tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to install Eclipse and, uh, and how to use Eclipse through your toolchain to program the, the ARM STM32 board. Okay, this tutorial actually will be useful for any one of you guys who are using an STM32 uh, F4 or F3 board. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we're going to show, we're going to switch to the board to explain a little bit how this thing works. And then we show on the computer uh, what to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, give me a thumbs up. And uh, let's start. It. So, guys, what are you going to learn today? So, this is the debug part two. Now we're going to learn how to use, uh, how to compile and uh, debug through Eclipse. Okay. Now, actually, Eclipse is an open source GUI is uh, for development. Okay. So it's way more and more easy to to do your job through a GUI. So what we're going to learn today is install Eclipse CDT, which is the Eclipse configured for C++. Install the GNU ARM plugin and configure some paths, okay? The GNU ARM plugin is actually the, uh. the plugin of Eclipse who is going to be used to control the toolchain plus the open OCD, okay? So if we show in a diagram, basically it's like this. We have Eclipse, which calls your toolchain in open OCD, to program and debug your STM32F4 through the ST-Link V2 interface. Okay? Uh, as we learned in the previous videos, the OpenOCD is the guy who is going to be the bridge between the GDB and the ST-Link uh, V2. And the tool chain is, the, is actually the group of software that is used to program and debug your, uh, your board. Okay? So, uh, sorry, when I say program, no, compile is a better, uh, is a better expression to explain what the toolchain does. Okay, so, uh, the previous video that we teach how to use the tool, how to install the toolchain and open a CD, need to be here in order to, to continue this video, okay? So, if you didn't install the toolchain needed to open a CD, go back to the previous video on the lab, okay? Hi guys, so continuing our tutorial on how to prepare your machine to, to compile and debug uh, projects for the STM32F4 or the embed platform, we're going now to, to jump to the easy part. We're going to configure Eclipse to, uh, to call automatically, automatically your compiler and also the debugger, okay? Uh, so we just open the zip file here. Okay, then we just drag to a directory of our choice. And, uh, and after this is done, we just open Eclipse and, uh, and we are going to configure it to... Actually, this is the newest version, the Mars. And we're going to configure to use our tool chain and, uh, and also open OCD. Okay, here you just select an workspace uh, where you, uh, actually your projects are going to be located. Okay. And, uh, well, let's start. So, uh, now what we're going to do is install the GNU ARM plugin, okay? We come here to help. Uh, we go to install s new software, okay? So, we click here on add. Okay, here we can just type any name. We can put GNU ARM plugin. Okay, and we just uh, paste this location here. Okay, we press OK. And we just mark GNU ARM C, C++ cross development. Okay, here is going to install all this, especially where we are interested in the open OCD plugin and uh, some documentation and stuff like that. Okay, the cross -compi compiler as well is useful for us. So we just come here to next. Okay, next again. We accept the terms. And uh, he's going to install this plugin. Okay, so basically we changing Eclipse to also support the, the tool chain that we installed in the previous video and also open OCD. Okay, now again. We switch to the embed ID, okay, web ID, by the way, and we you choose a project or you create a project from scratch, okay. So uh, let's come here. This nuclear blink LED, uh, I think is yes, is the first uh, the first tutorial that we wrote. So we come here, export, uh, export.
export program, sorry. And here we choose ARM embedded, okay? GCC ARM embedded. If we press export, it's going to create uh, a zip file, okay? Containing the the make file of a pro of this project, okay? Basically the same thing that we did in the other tutorial, okay? Then uh, we're going to Eclipse, okay? We're going to File, Import, C++, okay? C, C++, and we choose existing code as make file project, okay? We come here to Next, uh, in our case is uh, Cross Arm GCC, okay? And uh, now we just point to the to the location where this uh, zip file got uh, extracted. Okay, okay. We press OK. And this is the project that we that we have. Okay. Uh, at this point, if you come here and choose to build the project. Okay, he's going to complain saying that uh, program slash slash not found in path. What we're going to do now is configure Eclipse to point to our tool chain and make things work. So, uh, come to your project, okay, C click with the right button, then go to properties. Okay, you can come here and take out this part and do this. Cool, done. It's been created. Okay, and we have here the ELF file, ELF, sorry, file in the end, which is, by the way, more or less the same thing that you can come here, make trim, just let me delete. You see? Okay, more or less the same. Uh, well, what else we can do? Uh, let me build again okay if you want to do uh, to run the clean you come here clean project okay uh, I think it does not it did it. yes so he called it make all clean by the way it should be just make clean but okay it uh, it compiled first so then the, then do the clean but it works Okay, guys, so uh, one last thing that we need to do uh, is learn, for instance, how to uh, to call the make and and uh, add the settings to debug. Because if you call this with OpenOCD and you try to debug, it will be funny, like instead of going line by line, one after the other, sometimes it jumps and stuff like that. Okay, so we need to configure how to debug it as well. Okay, so actually what we want to do is make eclipse type the following command make all debug equal one okay this is what we did in the last video to to build the project with uh, debug information okay so what we're going to do we come here properties okay uh, in the build settings first let's just fix this to put just make because when you're going to compile going to call make all when you're going to clean it's going to call make clean okay but now we want to add this uh, debug to this part to add the bug information so we come here we go to build variables we create one call it the uh, put debug for instance okay and we say that the value is debug equals one okay we come here to put okay then we come back to C++ build behavior and we just add a variable here I'll put the bug okay then we click apply and we press ok now let's see here in the console what is uh, what is what Eclipse uh, under the hood create uh, to build our project he call make all debug equals one and it's exactly what you want okay now let's play with the OpenOCD plugin to instruct this to debug and uh, actually program this board. So what we're going to do to configure GDB, we come here, debug configuration, okay. We come to uh, 
GDB Open OCD debugging. We create new. Uh, the ELF file is this one. Okay. So uh, here in the debugger, we should point to again to our Open OCD executable. Okay. And uh, also add the configuration parameters that uh, indicate the interface, in this case, stlink v2, and our target. Okay. GDB client, you point in your toolchain where is the GDB executable. Okay. In this case here, we're asking to start OpenCD locally, but you could close this and, uh, and use the GDB as a, as a client pointing out to an external OpenCD session that will be actually have the same effect if you are using in a local machine. In, in startup, we just actually don't need to do nothing because it's already pre-configured to do the init. Okay. Uh, here, if you want, you can also save as this configuration to your uh, to, to your project. I mean, it's quite option if you want. You can apply. Okay. So here we can just press the bug. Or we can come here uh, in the configuration and ask Nucleo led default. Okay, so this is going to open a uh, debug session. And now we can uh, debug. Uh, actually, as, uh, as we were using in the previous video, but not in the console. So now we have buttons that you can step over and stuff like this. You know, for instance, step into. And we see actually here the implementation of the digital out. Uh, uh, class okay and we can continue you can stop at any point then you have here your uh, your stack call you stack uh, yeah your stack so you are at main that is calling wait that here we don't have we didn't compile the embed OS so we don't have the the source code but we can do this in the next video and m so main call it wait which call us ticker ready Okay, uh, if you want to uh, to create breakpoints, you just click twice here. Okay, and if you run again, it's going to stop at this breakpoint. And uh, basically, that is guys. So uh, in a now is an easy way. Now we use Eclipse to uh, to actually uh, debug and uh, and do whatever you need uh, in your in your projects. Okay, you can start doing something in the uh, in the web ID. If you need to debug, just export the program and bring it here to Eclipse and uh, you're going to debug easily. So it's really cool. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thumbs up if you guys like this uh, this lab. And uh, any questions, doubts, ideas of other projects, just contact me. Okay? Ciao, ciao.